so hot. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anne and you're watching my January favorites. Oh my god. Okay, I have one makeup favorite and it's the Revlon Age Defying Concealer and I did feature this in my makeup tutorial and at first I didn't know how to use it and now I totally love it because it just blurs everything on my face like my red spots, my pimples, I do get pimples, everyone gets pimples, it's a normal human thing and I'm on the shade, I'm in the shade light medium so yeah this is what I use, I don't even put foundation anymore I just put this on my face because like I think the foundation is like too heavy for my face to handle and you know it just it basically just melts on your face th th like through the day it just like melts on your face it's like so like this one's very light and it does the job so the next favorite is a skincare favorite and it's the Mario Badescu Facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pink, and I use it every time I wash my face. And I don't know. I, I use it to set my makeup. And it just soothes my skin. And I don't know. I feel like my skin is more hydrated when I use this. And yeah, it smells so good. It smells like roses. The next favorite is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water, and I use this after. I remove all my makeup with my Garnier makeup remover micellar water thing and I don't know I feel like the makeup remover doesn't really remove everything like it just removes like everything that you can see but there are like dirt in your face that you can't see with your eyes and this thing does the job and yeah so when you like put it on you can put it on your face get a tissue or like any cotton that you could wipe your face with and then you wipe it off and then you can see that there's still makeup left even after using a makeup remover so I think this is a really amazing product it's well so good and yeah I I love Lush always have the next favorite is kind of like a gadget favorite but and this is my power bank it doesn't really do much because it only charges your phone it's like for like 20% I thought I ordered it off the lore and I just thought it would like be great to have this and it, it is I mean I still bring it around like I mean if my phone is dying I mean it charges it to 20% so it's good and I only like it because it's pretty but I guess I'm gonna get a better a better power bag because like I can't go to school with this thing but yeah it is pretty it's cute it's a favorite next favorite is something that matches my sweater and it's this yellow beanie now I look like um, or I don't know I look, I look like the sun now probably shouldn't have worn that oh my god I'm sorry about my hair I literally just popped out of bed and filmed the video can you hear my rice cooker can you hear it so yeah I got this beanie at forever 21 and it's from the men's section I don't think there's a size but yeah, it's basically just a yellow beanie. I just use this for like bad hair days because these things are very convenient to have like in your bag, backpack, I don't know, just have it in your pocket. Why not have it in your pocket? And you know, just slap it onto your head and that it keeps you from having bad hair days. So yeah. The next favorite is you already seen it on my Instagram and it's my rainbow sweater. It's yellow orange, maroon, and indigo, I think, I'm gonna, yeah, so, wait, I don't think it's indigo, I think it's dark blue, I'm, I'm looking at my camera, I can't see it, so yeah, I use this, I just slap it on, and I feel really cute, and it's so comfy, I like the fabric, it's stretchy, it's, it's not that oversized, but, you know, I love it, it's not fit, so, I love it, okay, the next favorites are digital favorites, so, Cannot hold them. I have one music favorite, and it's Billy Martin. Um, so basically, she she's a singer, of course. And I just listened to her one album. I care I can't remember the name because I just have it on my Spotify. I just literally just shuffle all the songs. But yeah, she sings like a goddess. So 
I put her link down below and you can check her out if you want to. The first movie favorite is about Ray and it's um, about a transgender woman. It's Elle Fanning and she's basically going through the changes of being a transgender woman. So I really liked it. It's an artsy film. So yeah, I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out on IMDb. So yeah. Okay, so the next movie favorite is a La La Land. It is La La Land and I honestly don't know what to feel about it. Of course I am hurt, but I, I like the movie. I like I like the cinematography, I like the I like the seas. I just I just love it. I just love everything about it. I love Emma Stone, I love Ryan Gosling, I love I love the costumes. Mostly, mostly I love the costumes. And the screenplay is just Oh my god, it is so amazing. Like I wanna watch it again, but I feel like I can't watch it without wheezing or like almost dying. But yeah, that's basically how I feel about the movie. I, I love it that I feel like dying every time. I have two series, one is anime and one is a live action. I have one anime favorite, it's Mob Psycho 100 and this boy Kageyama, which they call Mob, and he has an apple cut, which is really cute. <laughs> and basically, it's this young student, and he has psychic powers, and he works for this psychic firm. <laughs> it's kind of like a firm, but I don't know. But yeah, it's it's pretty funny. I laugh all the time. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. Okay, the next favorite is something that I just finished, like days ago okay so basically the OA is about Prairie this girl she was um, missing for seven years and before she was missing um, she was blind and then when she comes back she has her sight back so that's pretty freaky so and then it's freaky like the whole time we're watching it there are like eight episodes and they're all freaky but I love it I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out too so Okay, I have one food drink favorite, and it is the Nitro 7 coffee joint thing. So yeah, if you go to Nitro 7, I would suggest getting the caramel hazelnut mocha because it tastes so good. <sighs> so good. That's all I can say. It's just so good. So that's it for my January favorites. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys will try out some of the products and will watch some of this movies and series that I showed you. So yeah, that's it. I'll put all my links down below so you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, just all the shizzles. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and... And I will see you guys next week for another new video. Bye!